Hi everyone, my name is Tom, I'm one of the developers of Cyber Launch Tycoon. I'm creating a multiplayer game, and it sucks. Creating a multiplayer game is very, very, very annoying. You need to think about all the synchronization of information between the players and the server, you need to think about the authentication, and it's just a new way of building your game. If previously all you had to do is call one method and everything works, now you need to think about how you want to propagate your actions across all the clients. So, there are a few ways of doing this. One is where all the clients just talk among each other. And when one client wants to do something, this client just sends a message to all the clients. This is client authoritative. Now the approach that I'm going with, and I think that's the only approach that Unity's netcode is giving you, is where you have the server sending messages to all the clients. And when you have the server authoritative, you can have two options. Either you have a server or a host. In my case, I'm going with a host because I don't want to create separate servers. So how does it work? When the server wants to send something across all the clients, the server calls on a client RPC method. When the client wants to talk to a server, the client calls on a server RPC. Here's an example from the game. When the player wants to buy a shop, the player calls on the buy shop server RPC. This method runs on the server. The server then figures out who's the player that called it, checks that the player has enough money, subtracts the amount from the player, and calls on the buy shop client RPC. Sends a message to all the clients and telling them, hey, player A bought this shop. And then each client goes through the logic of instantiating the new shop and setting the owner of that shop. Pretty simple. And we have some variables, like the player's money, which is a network variable, which can only be changed by the server. So only the server can add or subtract money from the player. So now this was a simple example. What about stuff like the environment, like pedestrians? So there are two options. The server creates a pedestrian and updates its state, which means the server is responsible for updating the position of that pedestrian, the rotation of the object, any animations, decisions, anything like that. Which can be pretty expensive if, for example, I have 50 of them. That means the server, every frame, needs to send information about 50 pedestrians. That can be costly. So the solution that I came up with, we have the server, generates a random seed, the server then sends a client RPC. It tells all the clients, hey, create a new pedestrian with this seed. Okay, so why is the seed important? Because every decision that the pedestrian is gonna make is gonna be generated using the random object created with that seed. That pedestrian object will be making the same decisions. Think about Minecraft. When you create a new world using the same seed, you will get the same world again and again and again. Same thing. The pedestrian object has the seed, which will be used to generate all the random decisions. And then the client is the one responsible for updating the position and rotation, updating any decision making, updating the animations. All of that is on the client using that one number information that it received from the client. So. I'm not an expert on creating multiplayer games, but I think this is a pretty clever idea. Also, this is not a competitive game, so I don't really care if the pedestrian makes some unsynced decisions between the clients, but from my testing, everything works. Basically, the idea is to have the client to be responsible on as many things as possible without getting out of sync from other clients. So what's next for the multiplayer? I need to decide how I want to connect the players. There are a few options. One of them is using dedicated servers, which I don't want to do. I want the clients, the players, the users, people who actually play the game to host the game. And I'm probably gonna use the Unity's Relay services for this, because they offer a service where you can connect between players. You don't have to open any ports, you don't have to share any IPs. So I think that will be my solution unless I find something uh, better. Anyway, this was my update for this week about the multiplayer for my new game. I still don't have a Steam page, I'm working on that. And for any updates you can check my Twitter page. And for live development you can watch me on Twitch. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Whew.